Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Roblox. And today I am playing a game called Arcade Empire. So today, Doge is going to be starting his very own arcade. And apparently, we've already got a customer here playing Maze Game, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've also got a tutorial, which is place your first arcade game. But for some reason, there's already one down here. So I guess we'll go ahead and put another one down. So we've got... What's this arcade? Oh, it's another Maze Game. Perfect. So we'll put two of these down. And now, we got to visit the shop. So let's go ahead and head over here to the shop now. Oh, it just teleports us here. Okay, buy a maze game. Okay, I guess we really like playing maze games. So how many do we want? I guess just one for 25. There we go. Uh, so is that it for the tutorial? I, I think that's the end of the tutorial. So let's go back to our arcade and let's go ahead and put down our arcade game. We have three maze games, which is apparently one of my missions complete. The next one is place three items in your arcade, buy any arcade machine, and have five customers visit. Okay. Uh, well, at the moment, we've got two customers, and we've got some money to collect from this machine. So we got to make sure we collect up all the money because it looks like it's got a $7 limit. So let's see what else we've got. We've also got floors. So we can buy a second floor, uh, or we can upgrade the first floor. So we can upgrade for 5,000. I don't have 5,000. Oh, we just leveled up. We got Henry. Okay, apparently we've got Henry as our new worker. Perfect. Uh, where's he at? Is he around here? No, wait, why is this machine smelly? What have you guys been doing? You've made my machines dirty. I don't know what these guys are doing over here, but they're they're making everything dirty, which is not good. Uh, here we go. We got another customer. Uh, we're almost at five customers. I need to buy another arcade machine. So let's see what we've got for machines. We got all kinds of stuff here. We can get a, a foosball table. That's like $131,000. So it's pretty expensive. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. So let's look at some of the cheaper games that we've got over here. So the first one is apparently Maze Game. Uh, we've also got the Prize Claw. We got Sword Fighter. And then over here we have the Ball Claw, which I can afford this. There's also Table Game, which this looks really cool, but it's $2,000. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. I might be able to get the Ball Claw. Let's go back and see how much money these machines have been making me. Apparently, they're dirty. Why did, why did it just sound like there was an electrical error? I have no idea, but there we go. We clean that, collect all the money. Should be good. We need to get some more chairs for people to sit down and some other decorations. Oh, I've got a bunch of games in here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put these down. We got a, a bunch of brand new game machines. We got another maze game. Uh, we've got... I don't know what this is. Oh, this is Sword Fighter. Okay, we got Sword Fighter. And then over here, we got our uh, prize claw. So we've got all the different machines. Apparently, these people are playing uh, Sword Fighter, which is pretty good. Uh, so we'll let them do that. Everyone likes the new games. No one's coming over here to the original maze games. Uh, but I want to look at some of the decorations we don't actually have any so let's go to the shop and let's buy some decorations so we've got building themes over here oh we can get different themes how much is this ten thousand yeah i don't think we're gonna do that five million what oh it changes like how much you make as well apparently we got eric now as a new worker and we got another two hundred dollars perfect uh, what's in the basement? Oh, what is this? There's, like, a bunch of other machines in here. We apparently have slot machines. Uh, we got a photo booth. What is this place? Is, this is Mega Maze Game. Okay, there's, like, all kinds of stuff down here. Is that a golden fountain? Alright, so apparently some of my missions here is to buy another arcade machine. So I want to get this, which is the table game. So I'm going to save up for that. 
Uh, the other thing is to apparently upgrade a machine to golden. I'm not sure how that works. What are these things over here? Uh, they look like different kind of like skins. Okay, I was gonna buy furniture, but I want to know what these things are. Let's just buy this for uh, 50. Okay, what do we got? We apparently got a bacon girl. All right, so over here we've got the furniture. We got a couch. I'm gonna buy that. I could get some plants as well. So let's buy like two plants. And let's head back to our arcade because I haven't been here in a while. Oh, great. Of course, I leave the arcade and it's an absolute mess when I get back. Oh, and apparently they also need maintenance. I have workers. I don't know how to hire them. Here, let me see if I can hire some workers. Oh, these are the upgrades. Okay, that's not really what I was looking for. I wanted the workers. All right, so right now I've got two different workers. I've got Henry, who apparently collects money, and I've also got Eric, who apparently does repairs. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the person to collect the money for me. I think it's going to be better. I don't know if uh, I have to, like, pay him constantly or if it's just, like, a one-time fee. But this guy should be able to go around and collect up all the money so I don't have to come back here all the time. I just have to make sure the machines are still working and aren't a mess. We need to get, like, a, a cleaner, but I don't have one of those unlocked just yet. But I do have a couch. So let's put this down. I'm going to put it right here in the back. I want to get something better than white walls because this is very plain at the moment. So I guess while we're waiting for some money, uh, we can go uh, kind of explore around the area here and see what other stuff there is. Oh, look at these arcades. They just go up. Wait, what? what's in here? Oh, what? It's just full of maze machines. Look at this. Can you even get to the next floor? What's on the next floor? Let's go to the floor two. Oh, great. Uh, we're stuck in a machine. Doge. Oh, this is not good. I, I am stuck inside of a machine. Okay, there we go. We made it out. What do we got up here? Uh, we got a bunch more maze machines. Apparently, people really like buying maze machines. Let's see. What else is on level three? I'm guessing more maze machines. Yep, more maze machines. Let's see what's at the top floor. And it's full of, what are these? Diamond maze machines. Okay. Uh, speaking of diamond maze machines, one of my missions is actually to upgrade a machine to golden. How do I do that exactly? Oh, I got Adam. All right, so I got someone who can actually clean stuff. Uh, what is this? This is inventory. I don't need that. I need to hire Adam. There. And, you know, what? we'll get Eric as well. Let's get all the workers. Uh, they'll come and make sure everything's working properly. I still got to figure out how to upgrade a game. I haven't figured that out just yet, but that's apparently one of my missions. Uh, the other thing is to buy an arcade machine, which I've been saving up money for the table games. So I want to try and get that, but I also want to upgrade the machine. So this is apparently how you upgrade the machines. You come in here and you click this little button. You can like upgrade them to different rarities. So I think I'm going to go with a golden machine. We can get a golden maze machine for 250. Uh, how much is a prize claw? Oh, that's like really expensive. Okay, let's just get a golden maze machine. Since the other person had so many maze machines, I might as well do the same thing. I could even sell one of my old ones. So if I come in here, get rid of this maze machine. Oh, great. I made him angry. Sorry, you can come play this one or just leave. Okay. Probably should have collected the money from that machine before getting rid of it. But here we go. We got a golden maze machine. There's also a wheel. Oh, we get a, a spin once a day. Okay, what are we going to get? Let's hope we get something good. Uh, mini party? Okay, apparently we got, what is that, extra customers for 15 minutes? Cool. Uh, I don't really know exactly how that helps. I wanted to get a mini VIP party. That would have been cool. So, what does extra customers do? I'm not sure. Let's head back to the arcade here and say what is going on. There's definitely a lot of people here. I do also have another machine that I just bought. So we can put that down. 
I'm still trying to figure out how to upgrade a machine to golden, because I have a golden machine over here, but apparently that's not good enough. Alright, so I figured out how to upgrade items. It's apparently right over here. So if I go ahead and take these three, I can upgrade them... Oh, I need ten to combine into one. Alright, so I have three machines at the moment. If I buy seven machines for 175, I should be able to upgrade these into one golden machine. Apparently, I can. Cool. I now have a golden machine. I don't know if that was worth it, but I've got a golden machine along with all the other golden machines. So let's go ahead and put it down. So that way I've got another quest complete. There we go. We got... A bunch of golden maze machines. Uh, my next quest is apparently buy three prize claw machines. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to save up for my uh, brand new table game. Because I had a decent amount of money and then I bought all these. And now I'm down to $960. So I'm going to play for a little bit. See if I can get enough money to get my brand new table game. Alright, so I've been playing for a little bit here. My uh, boost is about to end in about 30 seconds. I'm getting really close to getting enough money to get my brand new machine. But I figured out how to actually customize uh, your shop. If you go over here under colors, you can actually change the color of your shop. So let's go ahead and change it. Let's go ahead and get like a blue shop as our primary. Our secondary color... We'll get like blue and yellow, and then for a third color, we can get like a really bright red, and then floor, uh, I want to get like a brown floor, might be good, so let's get a, a brown floor, there we go, and then the secondary floor color, it could do like brown and white, or black, let's see what black looks like, so this is apparently the brand new arcade, I think this looks pretty cool, I'm not really liking the yellow. I, th I think the yellow is a little bit too much. And maybe the red. So here, let's change it again. Uh, let's get rid of the red. Let's try a green. Like maybe a, a darker green. Uh, you know what? The yellow actually looks pretty good. Now that I've like added the green and I think it was the red that was causing a lot of problems. But now that I've got a green ceiling, I think it looks a lot better. We've also got a brand new worker and $500. Yes, that's enough to buy our brand new machine. I might be able to get this one. Oh, I can. I can get the boxer game. But that's not as good as this one. Because this one gets 18 per play. This gives 12. Uh, there's also whack -a noob which gives you 18. But I want to get this. It's uh, a bigger game. It's apparently a 2 by one game. But I think it's also two players. Uh, how much does it cost to upgrade in here? Okay, so it is 10. So the one thing I could do is I could buy like maybe an upgrade version of the claw game. Oh, I don't have enough uh, to buy one of those. I don't know if it's like cheaper to buy 10 of these and then upgrade them or just buy one as golden. I think it's exactly the same. But one of them gives me the challenge, which is upgrade a machine, which I might go ahead and buy like 20 of these. How much is 20? So if I were to buy 20 of these machines, it would be $500. And then if I go over here and combined all of these, should I do max combined all? Yeah, there we go. We got two gold machines and then I got an extra $70. I don't know if that was worth it. But let's put these brand new golden machines down. We're going to get rid of this one. And I also got to find a place for my new machine. I want to put this down. Oh, where am I going to put it? There's not really a good spot. I've got all these machines. I still have the new one as well that I've got to put down. I'm thinking about putting it in the middle. Like maybe right here. Could be good. Or I could move the couch. Oh, great. Someone's already playing it. I was going to move it, but they're playing it now, so I don't want to make them angry. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the chair, because I want to move the chair. This I wanted to put back there, but they're playing. So we're going to have to put uh, this 
arcade machine over here. So I got the golden machine there. And then I'm going to put my chair at the front. Can I still use this machine with the chair there? I'm not sure. We're about to find out. Uh, let's go ahead and collect up all the money from the machines. I might buy another worker. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's full. Yeah, I might need to get another worker because they're not really collecting up all the money that quick. So how much is another worker? If I go over here, uh, another money collector is 235. Let's do that. I don't think I need another repair person. And we don't really have too many cleaning problems. So I think we're good on that. It's just we have a lot of money to collect. So we've got two people doing money. We got people playing our brand new table games. They're having fun. Are they playing Pong? I think they're playing Pong right now. Alright, so there's someone playing on this machine over here in the corner. Which means this chair isn't really causing any problems. So that's good. Uh, I could actually go buy some other games. Uh, what's the next one up that we can get? There's Whack a Noob. That's pretty good. But then there's also the air hockey, which is 30 per play, but that's $10,000. So the one thing I could buy is actually some more decorations. If I buy this for 25, I can get $90 from this. And then apparently I need to have 100 customers visit your arcade. And then I need to open five capsules. I want to try the capsules because I feel like they might do... A good job for getting like better customers so I can either buy one eight hundred dollar capsule or I can get two of these what are the odds I think they're exactly the same they're just like different people so I'm gonna buy two of these I think it's gonna be better so let's see what we got we got an ultra rare it's a uh, apparently boxing okay uh, that's not the highest rarity, but that has a 15% chance. Alright, let's do another one. What are we gonna get? It's apparently a soccer person. So we got uncommon. I could do three of these, or I could buy this one as soon as I get $200. Which just has a lot of different people that you can get. So I don't know if we're gonna get anything good from here. Uh, but we just need, like, one more person to collect money. There we go. Let's see what we're going to get from this one. It is apparently Mr. Teacher. Okay, they're apparently common. Okay, so not really anything too good. But I think if you get like different people come into your arcade, you get more money for the customers. I want to see the, uh, the boxing person because they're apparently like an ultra rare customer. So hopefully they'll give us some good money. But I think that's going to be it for today. Doe just opened up his very own arcade, and we've got plenty of customers here. I've also got some workers who are doing a really good job. They've also been leveling up. We've got a level 6 Eric over here, uh, who's our mechanic, who fixes everything. Oh, I just realized we have a, a boxing person right here. I didn't even see how much money he made, but hopefully he does a good job. He's actually playing on this machine. Let's see, how much money are we going to get? Let's see, there was $9 in the machine. Oh, he gave us 10. So he does actually give us more. And I think he's still playing the game. So we might be able to get another $10. Yeah, so it looks like the better customers, the more money you get. So those capsules are actually really good. So if you want to get money faster, definitely buying the capsules is going to help for getting better customers to come in. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye everybody.